Hello there, it's your very own Black Bright, broadcasting out of England into your homes. Welcome. Um, thumbs up, thumbs down, share, subscribe. And as I'm saying recently, it's best to share because, as you will probably have noticed, I don't come up um, on your screen anymore the same way as other people I've subscribed to. They don't come up on my reminders anymore. So if you don't share, people don't know. Anyway, I wanted to talk about um, Signal and Telegram because a lot of people have jumped ship from WhatsApp because of this privacy thing and moved to Signal and Telegram. And of course, you could be jumping out of the frying pan into the fire if you haven't secured these apps when you download them. Because the whole point of moving from WhatsApp to Signal and Telegram was basically because everybody believed that um, WhatsApp was going to be sharing their contacts and everything with Facebook. So inadvertently, you even though Signal and Telegram won't be doing that, if you don't do a, touch, a couple of things, your um, software can be vulnerable. So what I thought I would do is just go quickly. It's quite. A, I'll send you the link, but I'll just summarize it so you know roughly what to do um, from now. So at least you're okay from now. Um, if you didn't do it when you downloaded it, it's not much of a big deal. It's just that other people outside your contacts can contact you, can message you and that kind of thing. So this is going to show you a way of how to stop that from happening. So the source is Forbes, a guy by the name of Zach Doffman. Sounds very um, eloquent. And of course, Forbes is a authentic publication. So we know it's a good source. OK, so we've got um, WhatsApp's competitors are Telegram, Signal, Threema and Wicca. And that's following WhatsApp's privacy backlash. Tens of millions are using WhatsApp's alternatives, which is, which is mostly Telegram but also Signal. And just like WhatsApp, Telegram and Signal have critical settings you must change before using the apps. Of course, most of us have just downloaded it and we haven't changed the settings. Some people might um, instinctively, but the majority of us are just relieved to get up of WhatsApp because of what we heard. Um, I understand WhatsApp is now trying to correct that. Um, I don't I don't think it's too late. It all depends. It all depends whether people um, will trust them. And I think that's what happens, you know, when you when people lose faith in a product is how do you build, rebuild that trust? And I think what's happened is, is that because Facebook has bought WhatsApp, you know, you kind of think, oh, you know, how loyal can they be to their their patrons, really? And they can try to kind of elicit, I understand they're going to be contacting every single subscriber and tell them exactly um, where, what kind of misinformation went out, why people jumped ship. But, you know, that's probably taken us a bit of time. So until that happens, people are, like I said, jumping ship. So let's see what you have to do. Well, Signal and Telegram have default settings. Signal is the WhatsApp lookalike, and it's got end-to-end -end encryption, so it's much more secure. Telegram has more users, and it's more user-friendly, and it's just for basic stuff. I mean, if you, most of us don't have anything to hide, to be honest. We just talk stripping this between our friends and our colleagues, but nothing substantial, nothing kind of top secret or... If you was using, um, say, for example, you was using Signal for work and you're working for a government organisation, you couldn't use Telegram because it doesn't have end-to-end -end encryption and because that kind of work would need to be secure. So that's where Telegram falls back. It doesn't have that end-to-end -end encryption and Signal does, as does WhatsApp. So, but then again, I was thinking... Even though WhatsApp has the end-to-end -end encryption, if the old bill decides that they want to get that information, they can force WhatsApp to offer it over. So, you know, 
it all depends what's important to you, really. So Telegram stores all your messages and content in its cloud. So is that OK with you? As long as you know, it's 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 to facilitate you picking up all your texts and your messages from any device that you use where you download Telegram on. So that's why they do it. It just makes it easier. Unlike, um, I think, WhatsApp, I think you can lose some of your stuff and, because it's not end-to-end -end encryption. The thing is, with um, Telegram, it's end-to-end -end encryption from... Let me get this right. No, where did I write it down now? Okay. So end-to-end -end encryption, Telegram's default is to encrypt between your devices and its cloud and between its cloud and your contacts. It is not encrypted from sender to recipient in the same way Signal and WhatsApp does. So that's what I wanted to say about that. So um, basically, when it's going to the cloud, it's the cloud. So you put something on, it goes to the cloud, that's encrypted. But what I would write to you in a message is not encrypted. That's what they're saying. Um, what else does I say? So Signal, I've already said that. Signal is more secure than Telegram. Telegram settings. Now, these are what you need to change. And Telegram was designed initially to keep data away from government and security agencies because of its complex architecture. Um, I don't know if it's still relevant, but anyway, that's why it was originally came into force. Some hackers will try to steal your SMS code by hijacking your phone, your phone number. Uh, be careful of platforms, Facebook, WhatsApp, anyone who tell you that their network is down and they've asked you to forward their SMS to them. Now, that's just like asking anybody to give your PIN number or your passcode. You just wouldn't do it. The same way you should not give that SMS number. The one that when you're going onto another phone, it says, has your SMS number come through? And it automatically populates or sometimes it's just in your phone. It's best to delete those numbers from your phone anyway, once you receive them, once it's activated because they do have some hackers and they do have people who are vulnerable out there who might believe that the network is down and might think it's okay to forward the SMS. So that's the, one, the first security measure that you need to do. Never send your SMS to anyone. The second thing is the two-step verification code. Now that's under settings. And you go to privacy and security and then security you then do the two-step verification and then follow instructions. It's very easy. I did it. It might be a bind because you have to put your PIN number in every now and then when you use it. But it's better to be safe than sorry. We've got into a habit of having everything easy. And that's where the problem is. We want everything now. We just want to get on with it. We don't want to faff about. So we don't want these two-step verifications. But if it's going to protect you and your stuff, it's best to do it. Let's try to step back a bit. Let's try not to do things so quickly. Let's try to relax and not try to get things that are meant to be tomorrow, today. Just live in the present. Take your time. OK, and you've got all the time in the bloody world, some of us. You know, what's the rush? Why do we want everything done so quickly? Why do we want everything done yesterday? So then once you've done that, that's the two step verification. And like I said, you go to those three dots at the top. You, you find the settings. You go into settings. You'll see privacy and settings. And then you'll see settings and you'll see um, all of the like contacts, phone, last seen online, profile, photo, forwarded messages. You'll see those and they'll be defaulted to everyone, to anyone can see your profile, can see your messages, well, not your messages, can see when you was last online, your profile forward, your profile photos and forwarded messages. So what you do is you just click the down little arrow 
and it will show you an option that just to choose your contacts or maybe you don't want to share it with anyone but it gives you that option just so that your information is shared with your contacts only so that's the um the, that's the third one so the first is the sms code you don't give it away the second one is setting up the two-step verification code the third one is the privacy settings that you set so they're not in the default mode. You can also tell Telegram to delete data after a certain period. I kept, if you're not logging in, I put mine down for six months. So if I'm not logging in for six months, that means I'm really not going to be using the app and they can delete. And I, I'm not going to be putting anything. I The funny thing with Telegram and WhatsApp, WhatsApp has a kind of a... Um, a friendlier feel it's almost like with whatsapp it feels okay to talk about garbage with telegram i don't know if it's the color or what but it just seems more official and more formal and i don't get the feeling that you're apt to disclose in the same way i think you'll use your voice messaging in the same way but i guess until we get used to it and I also find that sometimes, well, one of the downfalls with um, Telegram is that you can only forward to one person at a time. With WhatsApp, I mean, when you think with WhatsApp, we used to be able to forward to 20, then it went down to tw 10, and that's gone down to 5. Can you imagine Signal only has one? You can only forward to one person. So for people who like to forward lots of stuff, it might not be for you. Um, what else? Um... So, yeah, so you can secure it with your biometric or your password security. I think most people put a password on their phone anyway. And I think most of this stuff is for, you know, like if you change your phone, this is what really this is for, the security. It's not so much as when you've got the phone in the house and the phone on you. Because it's probably quite secure unless you know you've got a snoopy girlfriend or a nosy mum then or a nosy dad, then maybe who has your password or you have to give your password too. But other than that, these um, programs are quite secure. The only time you may get a little bit of issue is when you change your phone and then you're transferring data and then you're uploading it to another phone and you want to make sure that no one's intercepting that information. So that's what mainly it's for. So end-to-end -end encryption, Telegram default is to encrypt between your devices and its cloud, which I said before. And between its cloud and your contacts, it is not encrypted from sender to recipient in the same way Signal and WhatsApp does. So um, what else I was going to say? Telegram is supposed to offer secret chats, which provide end-to-end -end encryption from one device to another between two people, no more than two. But I couldn't find it on my phone. If anybody finds it, let me know. Because as far as I know, you go onto the main um, telegram, you're supposed to click on those three dots and you're supposed to have an option for secret chat. And because I was doing this video, I was looking for it and I couldn't find it. So if anybody finds it, I'd like them to put how they found it below. I might be missing something. OK, so you'd, not, you'd go to the normal chat with your contact, which is what I did. Then you're supposed to click on the three dots on an Android and more on an iOS and then you're supposed to be able to start a secret chat like I said I couldn't find it so but if you need absolute security like I said signal that you can't turn that end-to-end -end encryption off it's totally secure and with the signal security the only thing you need to do if you're moving from WhatsApp to signal is the registration lock change and the screen lock change so um, that's in settings and it's quite self-explanatory. You just look for registration lock, which is right at the bottom on my phone. And you look for screen lock and you just put in your password. And I think you, I think that's all I've got to say, really. Hope you found it useful. And that's all for now. And like I said, you know, if anybody can find that secret chat on Telegram, I'd be interested. Thank you. Bye bye.